In the Gospel according to Luke, we can find uh, chapter 14, verse 6, to be more precise, a famous statement. Jesus said to him, disciple, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And across the centuries, many Christians have used this verse to place themselves in some sense of superiority in regard to all the other religion of the world. They claim that Jesus said that it's only through Jesus that we can have access to God. It's only that, and they believe that it's only when we accept Jesus as a Savior and Redeemer and we offer our life to Jesus that we can be saved. And they use this sort of argument to abuse uh, certain groups. We can just uh, think of the First Nation in North America who add their sense of spirituality, they add their faith, uh, and people came and said, no, 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 no. It's all wrong. You have to pray to Jesus, and only through Jesus you'll be okay. And the same be done in Africa, in Asia, and regard Muslim these days in North America, saying that it's not a real religion. Jesus show us the only way to God. To this, I'm tempted often to answer by a very old joke. It's a, it's a man that finally arrived to heaven, and he's very curious. He wants to visit, so an angel take him the, on a tour, and then open one door, and there was this group of monks in and, and silence, and he said, what? What's this? He said, well, that's our uh, Buddhist uh, room. It's very Zen, very calm. The man said, oh, interesting. And then open another door. And it was people chanting and dancing. And he said, what's this? Oh, that's a group from India. You know, very influenced by Bollywood. Very lively. He said, oh, interesting. And then they were on the verge to walk in front of another door and the angel said if you don't mind I would like you to tiptoe and make no sound when we will go by this door and a man says why he said well in this room there's very fundamental fundamentalist Christian and they believe they are the only ones here so we want to keep them in their illusion no joke but <laughs> Make us think. There's what? There's more than 10,000 different religion across the world these days, and more than, according to uh, encyclopedia, some encyclopedia, more than 150 different religion have more than a million followers. And that, it has to make us think that if we really believe that absolutely no one can get to God than accept Jesus, it means that we ought to be right and everybody else have to be wrong. It means that our religion is right and 9,999 other religion and millions of other people ought to be wrong. And you have to think, can we really have this sort of arrogant claim what's the part of humility in this can, can can we sincerely say this to our neighbor and really believe that and have a good life many people have reflect on this position and i read this text from a, a united minutes um american united ministers minister that that wrote that I'm a church that acts that like if we have only a small house and in on this small house there's a small door but Jesus said there's many room 
in my father's mansion. Maybe the house is big. Maybe there's many doors. And we have one door for us, and there's another door for our Muslim friend, and maybe another door for a Jewish friend, and maybe another door for our Buddhist friends, and so on. When Jesus said, I am the way and the life and the access to God, I think it meant for his disciple. For us, Christian, Jesus is the way. It does not mean there's only one way. It does not say there's only one way and it's me, other all wrong. No, for you, I'm the way. And it, there might be other ways to God that are still valid, different, but still valid. It, it makes me think of this very old Japanese proverb that says, there's many paths that lead to the top of the mountain. But at the top of the mountain, we all see the same stars. Maybe that's what we are invited to reflect upon. We each follow our path, and we love our path. It does not mean that everybody ought to follow the same path like us. The goal is to reach that top of that mountain. The goal is to reach out to God, to, to, to have a better life. And to one day go and dwell in this mansion, Jesus promised, where there's many rooms. I hope in this climate of division around the world, like us against you, and, and, and it's it's division based on country, but also on religion, on social, economic, class, culture, that this, this message will be used not to divide us even more, but to make us think that maybe somehow we're aspired to the same thing. And we have our ways, and we love it, does not mean that others are bad. Thank you. Once again for listening, I remain Stefan Vermet, the lectionary man, and until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.